Hi everyone, my name is Brenda. I'm the educator and rep for AOMED. Today I'm going to be demoing a treatment with the Magpolar and that is our radio frequency device. So well, I've already got my client all prepped up and I'm going to go ahead and put the PPC cream on her stomach. Now this is going to help tighten the skin. It's going to actually heat the skin up a little bit. So it's going to make the Magpolar treatment more effective. The Magpolar is RET technology and that is the latest as opposed to CET. So it's going to go down at a different level and rather than it just being in one area of the skin, it's actually expanding. So this has the ability to go in, help with cellulite, help with pain management, help with the visceral fat that we always struggle with. And so I've got it set on level seven, which is mode one also for the body with the bigger probe here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just show you how I do this. Now with the RET technology, this makes the treatment more effective and faster. So, which is going to be amazing for estheticians out there that need to have more bang for their buck in their treatment room. So after I did the PPC, I'm going to do the glide. This is our high frequency conducting gel, or cream rather. This has hyaluronic in it. You always want to make sure that you do a conducting cream when you're doing any kind of current, whether it's high frequency, microcurrent, any of those modalities, the Time Master that we have. I'm going to do it just a little bit more up here in the waist area. All right, so here we go. You want to go slow movement but you don't want it to stop during the treatment. So I'm going slow and I'm going counterclockwise or from the left to the right or to the right to the left if you're looking at your client that way. You want to make sure you keep it moving and you're just going to be going in this direction. How's this feeling? Is it heating up? Yes. The PPC cream really makes it heat up faster. So really, just because I have this on seven and that's kind of what the protocol says, does not mean that that's what you need to stay on. Always check in with your client. Do I need to turn it down a little bit? No, it's good. Okay. Now I also, even though I'm doing it in circles, you can also do sculpting with this and I'm going to kind of show you how to do that. You always want to make sure that all four probes is touching. There's not going to be any zapping at all. So if you're kind of wanting a little bit of contouring, you can go down at that angle. If you have a little bit of extra down here where we tend to, that's the hard place trying to do setups, you can focus a little bit more on this. Then kind of go back, go real slow around the abdomen. It's best to do this twice a week. Make sure that you leave two or three days in between treatments, especially when you're using the PPC or if you're partnering with another modality. Another modality that you could do would be the Time Master, which is our ultrasound with the LED. You can do that before or after the Magpolar. Again, another reason why you kind of want to wait a couple days in between treatments is because this is going in and targeting the visceral fat. It's also hopping with the lymphatic, and you want to make sure that your client is drinking lots and lots of water with lemon in it if they like that. And then take measurements.
You just want to give the body a little bit of a rest in between. Now we also have a product that's called Lipo-V. And that is a serum. It has all natural ingredients in it. You can do the Lipo-V before the PPC cream and then do your conductor cream on top of that. Or you can do it afterwards or that can be an at-home product that your client can use in between treatments. This is also a great treatment to do if someone has like hurt their neck or their leg or their back. This is used in a lot of chiropractor offices, a lot of dermatology offices. Even though I'm doing this on the belly, you can do this on the face to help contour. You can do it under the chin after a Kybella treatment to help soothe the the bruising and the soreness with that. Still doing okay? Mm -hmm. A little bit of redness is totally normal. That just means the skin's heating up and so I have this on level seven. This machine goes all the way up to a nine. It defaults the timer to 21 minutes. And really that's all you have to do as far as the length of the treatment. If there is, maybe you're working on the lower back, maybe it's um, back pain or menstrual cramps, you can do it maybe up to 30 minutes. But again, just make sure that you're keeping the probe moving. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Is it really heating up? Mm-hmm. 